I, I'm going to say something now, and I had responded to a few comments on social media as well. And I, as I wrote something, I reflected on it. And my feeling is that the technology has some limitations, but my honest instinct is that they did it with the wrong disease at too big a scale. Absolutely. Meaning that if if they had done what the intention was, which was to focus on the high-risk cohort and try to protect them with the technology, I think the risk or the potential exposure of the technology would have been significantly lower. And I said something here. Yeah, just, I'll finish with this statement. I said that no matter what the political situation is, the people who have been hurt in one way or the other by the technology will never be silent. And that's, in effect, the thing that is unstoppable. And so the, the platform, even though it could have more modifications, more benefits, could be destroyed at this altar. Any thoughts on that? So I had warned about this, and not just the platform, but the entire vaccine enterprise has been compromised now. And public faith in public health, uh, the reputation of the CDC, the reputation of the FDA, I speak about this from time to time. Uh, I was speaking to a Portuguese audience about a year and a half or two years ago, and an older woman uh, asked me a question and prefaced it with a preamble. And she made the point that uh, throughout Europe, the FDA had always been believed to be the gold standard for uh, integrity uh, and rigor in regulation of uh, drugs and biologic products. And that uh, she had come to now understand that the FDA was corrupt and uh, could not be relied on. And when she said that, I had not allowed that thought to come into my mind up until that point. And it literally hit me like a brick to the head that um, in this rush, this Operation Warp Speed, and all of the propaganda and uh, misinformation and disinformation that was propagated by the government, and the withholding of information about adverse events, for instance, myocarditis in particular, uh, what we had done as a United States Health and Human Services and uh, biodefense infrastructure and, and really biomedical pharmaceutical complex is we had destroyed or severely damaged our competitive position in the world as the uh, preeminent uh, developer and manufacturer of these types of products. And my prediction had been then, and I think we're seeing it accelerate, that what would be the logical consequence would be that the United States would continue to lose uh, its, its dominant position in biopharmaceuticals to India and China, one of which is uh, considered a hostile nation and the other one is at best a frenemy, uh, certainly a strong competitor. And that's, that's what's happened. The United States now has to import not only final drug product, but uh, drug precursors, if they're gonna do that. And the reputation of the FDA is trashed globally and uh, within the states. I, the damage that's been done here uh, through uh, the logic of emergency use authorization of uh, products that have proven to be neither safe nor effective, uh, in response to what was uh, basically marketed or propagandized as a highly lethal respiratory virus with a 3.4% case fatality rate, when it, based on uh, Ferguson's modeling largely uh, at Imperial College and his group, uh, and has proven to be paradoxically, Mr. Trump got this right, Early on, he, there's multiple video clips of he, him saying that the fatality rate here, or I think he calls it mortality rate, is well less than 1%. That turns out to be the case. Uh, and the whole 
logic that this was a highly lethal virus that would overwhelm our hospitals, uh, cause us to need to have mass graves and uh, um, freezer vans full of dead bodies and et cetera, et cetera. That's all turned out to be false propaganda. Uh, and uh, But that is what has been used to justify these breaches of what are really international norms of ethics and product development that have been developed over decades. And so we're now left, I, I could tell you my colleagues in the uh, clinical development and earlier phase pharmaceutical development space are, are perplexed now. That it, it's what's, what's happened uh, in, in the States with uh, regulatory affairs in the FDA is that what what had previously been a fairly rigorous and highly structured process, we all knew the rules, uh, we knew what the process was, we could project how much it costs, we could project the timelines and you know grind away for a decade to get the product developed and you know safe and effective, uh, and now. It's kind of anything goes if they want it to go. And if they want to uh, hold you to uh, higher standards, they will. And you can't predict what it's going to be. Um, you know, you're, people are left with, well, who do I have to pay off? You know, who, who, what do I have to do? To, it, it's the whole system is now compromised. Its integrity is compromised. Thank you.